so in the last lesson, we basically uh, cleaned up this mat a little bit more, uh, added a few more passes, uh, this additional pass, which we uh, created just using levels and um, exposure, basically built in After Effects filters. And we added that to our kind of master mat comp. So um, basically in this lesson, I'm gonna integrate uh, this piece of footage with a two and a half D scene. Um, and we're just gonna do a small camera animation. Um, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna get rid of this background here. So we just have the actor and I'm just gonna leave the title as is. And, and I'm gonna load in two background image files, which um, if you don't have them, I'll leave a link in the description. You can download them. So I'm just gonna import these. So I'm uh, just gonna go to downloads and import these two files. Straight unmatted, that's fine. So I've got these two um, image files. First, um, I'm gonna drop the background. So this is just an ambient occlusion pass and I'm gonna drop this onto my comp icon to create a new composition. I'm gonna drop in my actor footage, girl green footage one. I'm going to put this above this layer. And finally, I'm going to take my foreground pass and I'm going to put that right at the top. So as you can see, this fence object in front of her is kind of small, but we're going to adjust all these. So um, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to change the title. I call this master comp. Okay. And I'm going to make all these layers 3D. So I'm gonna hit this um, cube switch. If it's not visible, just click down here and it should open it up. So I'm just gonna click these and these are all now 3D layers. So first we wanna place these in our two and a half D slash 3D scene. So I'm gonna switch to four views and that's our active camera there. Um, it's a bit wedged, but uh, we can choose fit and it's gonna fit that into our um, screen estate. Okay, so I'm just gonna click on the background layer and I'm gonna move that back away from her. And I'm gonna click my foreground layer and move that in front of her. And I'm gonna try and uh, keep the distance kind of equal. So now I'm just gonna go back to one view. And uh, as you can see the background, uh, because we pushed it away in the Z axis, it's kind of, we can now see where the edges end. So to fix this problem, we're just gonna use scale. So I'm gonna hit S and I'm gonna scale it up until the edges are not visible. Uh, the foreground object, I'm just gonna scale it up till it seems like the right size because she's supposed to be kind of hiding behind this bit here. So I'm just gonna place this uh, about here maybe, still looks a bit small. Anyway, I'm just gonna play this back. Let's see what happens. So, that looks okay, I guess. Uh, we can keep adjusting these layers. Uh, next, I'm gonna create a 3D camera. So, new uh, camera. And I'm gonna use the preset 28 millimeters because it's kind of a nice wide uh, angle and if you use 50 millimeters, it's just gonna look quite flat, but this is gonna exaggerate the parallax effect of all the 3D layers. So I'm just gonna click OK. And as you can see, things have shifted again. Uh, before I do any kind of animation, I'm gonna create a null. And I'm gonna parent the camera to the null, which is good practice. I'm gonna make the null 3D. So this is the null controlling the camera. I'm just gonna call it cam null. And I'm just gonna actually animate this. So I'm gonna hit P on the null. And I'm gonna animate the Z property here. And then go to the end frame there and hit zero. So we're kind of pushing in. So uh, what we need to do is fix the background. So I'm just gonna scale the background layer up till it's covering the edges. And then the foreground layer still looks a bit strange. Oh, now our actor is uh, chopped off. So again, just hit S and scale.
Okay. I think the foreground layer, I'm just going to play with the Z property. So I'm going to hit P. Just, yeah, I think about here. It just has to be way bigger. Uh, we don't want to hide the actor too much, I guess. So I'm just going to put it over here somewhere. I'm just going to play this back. And that's looking a lot better. You can see the parallax effect between the, uh, the fence here and the background. Uh, if you want, you could add some blur to that front fence. I'm just going to add some fast blur, four pixels. But uh, it might look a bit kind of cheesy CGI. So, uh, yeah, so that's the end of this lesson. In the next lesson, we're going to add more um, passes to these background and foreground image layers. Uh, get the composition looking a lot better, more passes. Uh, do some color correction, things like that. Uh, if you found this useful, please share it. And thanks for watching.